championship a season ago as well for the Bruins and 10 of 11 seasons while he's been at UCLA they've had a winning record Brad Rostratter is in year number two we'll have more on him the Triton head coach momentarily but it is Rowan they got started from the service line out for Matt Lim who goes inside out on the shot Kirsten, great to see Matt Lim out there, a San Diego who missed last Friday with some back discomfort. He's a key attacker that Coach Wallstratter is going to rely on. Yeah, definitely. You need to have a steady outside that's healthy as well. So here is Rowan in one of the two matches against the Tritons last year. Rowan had six aces against the Tritons. McHenry with a nice stop after Jim Garrison had a shot up the middle. <laughs> On the denial, three up high. <laughs> and Matt Lim has two hitting errors on that left side. And those have been the two points so far off of his live arm that hasn't really gotten there yet. That was a big block. I didn't think he had anywhere to go with that one. Bounce goes to serve from Rowan. You look at last night, we mentioned this, Triton's they were watching intently. UCLA losing five sets to UCSB. Yeah. The Bruins, six aces, as you see the starting mm -hmm. lineups right there, six aces to 22 service errors. Yeah. So that was interesting. I, you know, it's hard to watch a lot of missed serves back and forth, and we don't have anything to talk about when that happens. But um, the side out percentage in the men's game is over 75%, so you have to go for it. So. You know, if you're, you're going for it and you're missing by an inch, that's a good serve. And I think that's what we saw um, a lot of UCLA doing last night, just missing by a little bit. Ethan Champlin at the service line. He's a San Diegan, and it's all up, fingers and hands pressed. Matt Lim, they're going to him, and it isn't working right now. He is 0 for 3 with three hitting errors, hitting in the negative. Yep, and they have, oh, that one time it was only two blockers on him. I was going to say, I think they had all three on that one. But Merrick McHenry looks dialed in there, diving into and closing that block. Champlin just missed fires, roaring that serve out of play. He's the team leader in kills, by the way, so we're going to see a lot of him as we are our server here, Matt Lim. How does he get going offensively, Kirsten, after a slow start? Well, you know, I think he's got to use that block, um, find a way, um, maybe change the set a little bit, talk to his, you know the setter about that. Just do something different, but then don't get discouraged at all first time starting in a while so you know just keep going at the block that is his 19th service air of the year at least two service airs for him in every match this year McHenry will let it fly off the tape and picked up by Andrew Boyle sure fun tools that double block of Guinness and Robinson a new setter yeah. out there for the Tritons Andrew Boyle the brother of the libero and Evan Boyle and by the way their parents both went to UCLA. That's awesome. And Turfan there just taking off. I mean, he looks like Superman out there. Jim Garrison askew with that attempt. He has been playing some really good volleyball coming off Friday's loss against Grand Canyon, but he matched a season high with nine kills. That's great. Yeah. And the man rarely has an attacking error. Yeah, that means he's connecting well with the setter, which is, is the key to the uh, middle attack. Boyle will go out to Laura, and he got denied. Laura took 22 swings back on Friday in that three-set loss to GCU. That is his first of this opening set, and the 10th point is decided by another block. This Bruins team, fourth in the nation in blocks per set, just under three per frame. Yeah, they have that dialed in. They are closing that block and penetrating over the net. Nito David again, another great serve. Peter Selcho against the block, the solo block attempt <laughs> of Guy Guinness, able to work it there and got it to three. A nice selection by Boyle to run the middle on that one. A little bit of a gap set on that. Boyle taking the place of the, the usual start of the season so far, the setter position, and Cam Whirl, who averaged about 8.12 assists per frame. That's Boyle to Laura, and Ida with the pickup. And a free ball goes right back over. Tritons, can they capitalize? To Laura. 
And a good pickup on the cross court for the number two ranked team in the country. The coverage was there from Rowan. Robinson got his shot rescinded. And the crowd is enthused after that savvy play defensively. Yeah, nice play by the Tritons. Good heads up play. Nice block at the net and good close. Tritons are also one of the better teams in the nation when it comes to blocking. They're third in the Big West at 2.56 blocks per set. That's 11th best in the nation. And a delicate shot put forth out of the middle for Guy Gennis, the redshirt junior from Tel Aviv, Israel, one of two starters for John Sparaz Bruins from Israel. So smart. He just saw that spot open and just right out of the reach of foil. In to serve is Alex Knight. Coming off last night, a career high 16 kills. Did have five service errors, and there's number one for him already. High risk, high reward. I, I think that's the name of the serving game here. You look at the only other loss for UCLA beyond falling to UCSB last night, and that was against then number four in the nation, Ohio State. The Bruins. We're on the wrong side of a reverse sweep as that Rowan set scales over the head of the 6-7 opposite from Israel in Ido David, who served in the Israeli military for almost three years. Wow, yeah, that seems like that was a very um, intricate connection, the opposite and uh, setter, and it seems like that's something they're still trying to work out. Lots of net movement there, and the Tritons were in the net. Going back to two points ago with that setter to right side connection, in talking to Coach John Spraw, he said mm -hmm. that that right side is is a little bit behind. Mm. He said with Ito in a row, and they still have a lot of things to work on in, in terms of getting that chemistry down. Yeah, and it's definitely something, especially when you're running fast sets. Um, that was a fast back row set, and just a little bit of a missed time there. And Nice swing by Lim. Matt Lim, sluggish start, able to make up for it here within one. There's always more angle. Tritons and Bruins played twice last year, and UC San Diego has swept both times. They scored 20 points or more in just one of those six sets. The uh. angle of Maestro! With a little low shot from the San Diego, and you can feel this crowd pulsating behind one of their own. Yeah, and great court vision by Lim, seeing that open cut shot. Nice placement. Oh, take a timeout. Timeout, or is it? Yeah, it is going to be a challenge. Oh, they're challenging in that touch. Okay. Now let's take a look at this. We, we do have nine all, and checking that out. That's Kevin Cole, our down official. So he will be taking a look at that prior sequence from a, a variety of different angles. And in the meantime, there's John Spara talking to his guys. What say you, Kirsten? Lim was in the net. I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it. This is the first tie at 9-all. You see Brad Rostratter, his team right now, 2-5, and five, match 3 of a four-match homestand. They're going to be hosting USC on Wednesday. Peter Selcho, after the challenge, gives the lead back to the Bruins, and they have never relinquished the lead over the course of the first 19 points of this opening frame. Here is Rowan. Got out to a nice run from the service line. His first time to begin the opening set. Not so much there. And you seem, Kirsten, not to be too concerned with the aggressiveness that the no. Bruins being bring from the baseline. No, um, apparently I'm, I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> um, it's just the way it goes. Um, you know, every once in a while we like to see a surf go in so we can watch some volleyball. But, um, you know, because of the side out percentage of this level of volleyball you have to go for it who would have thought with how aggressive both of these teams are from the service line yet to have an ace we do have seven service errors 
And that is a setting error. Boyle trying to get it to the BYU transfer. And Anthony Scherfan, who's coming off a season low three kills in that match last Friday against GCU. So he's looking for yeah. a bounce back performance. Yeah, and everyone's trying to connect with their opposite right now and can't seem to find him. Andrew Boyle, of course, starting at setter. His first start of the season. Ethan Champlin from Oceanside, California. The northern outskirts of San Diego County. And a lot of people are out to watch yeah. him tonight. Yeah, it's popular. I mean, everyone wants to watch the number two team in the nation and a growing uh, Triton team as well. A third tie after the Tritons. It should be 12 all, right? Yeah, I think it should be. I thought it was 12-11. No, I beg your pardon. You're right. It is 13-11. Triton's yet to have a lead. They're going to hope touch. to get a touch. Uh, Sherfan with a vicious strike on the right side misses the mark. So the lead expands to three. Challenge with a touch. He thinks he got option. They've got two. The now it's 13-12. Closes huh. the gap. You take the yeah. point away from UCLA, you add it to the Tritons. Yeah. Keep in mind that the Tritons, they haven't won against the Bruins since 2020. Big block touch from Laura into Guinness. And then Boyle and Scherfan collide. Communication wasn't there. And how do you avoid that happening in an out of system situation? You let the Sierra Vine. Yeah. So it was long overdue yes. if you're a Bruin fan. Yeah, he's a great coach. Also, bronze medal in the Rio Olympics, 2016. The national team. Very decorated coach. We could go on and on about him. We certainly could, and we can go on and on about the number of service errors <laughs> as well. 12 service errors have decided the first 27 yeah. points of this opening set. Not a single ace. No. Our first tie was at nine all. The Trides have been hanging in there, but Ethan Chaplin busts out the sledgehammer, locking in, and records his second kill. He and Guinness have two. No, Bruin has more than two kills so yeah. far. Yes, they have a very deep team, um, and I anticipate that Rowan will continue to move the ball around. Pick up from Nakamura, and there's Matt Lim on the run down, running into Patsy Malta. Is our libero, Evan Boyle, played up by Nakamura. Finishing the job with a vicious right-handed strike is the Israeli and Ido David, averaging 2.35 kills per set, coming off a performance last night where he hit under 100 on 17 swings. Yeah, that one, that one was in his sweet spot. Nice swing by him in that deep middle. He played so well, David, in one of the matches between these two a season ago. Peter Selcho works it off the edge of the block. One of the two starting middle blockers, both redshirt sophomores. But back to David, he had a team high 20 kills on 30 swings in one of the two uh -huh. matches for the Bruins against the Tritons in 2023. Gotcha, yeah. To Chaplin, inside out, he delivers, and he's got a team high three kills, which is right at his per frame kill number, at three kills per frame, which is tops on his team. So one of the wonderful things about Rowan, um, I learned when talking to assistant coach Nick Vogel before the match, is how he can change up his set based on who he is setting. Um, Chaplin likes a fast outside set, um, you know, and some of the other hitters, like a little bit of a slower outside set, a little bit of a higher. So definitely has that ability to change it up. Sherfan got denied there. Hitting air for him. Chaplin is going to get credited for the block as Sherfan is now two of three. There's his four swing. Goes down the line and leaves a welt on Guy Guinness, the redshirt junior middle blocker from Tel Aviv. There's a great swing by Cherfan, just going high and hard. Top of the block. How would you size up how Andrew Boyle has done for the Tritons, his first start as the setter so far? 
I think he's been doing pretty good. You know, it's all about, you know, finding that connection, making good decisions um, setting-wise. You know, I think he's getting into rhythm, but, uh, you know, he's connecting. Jim Garrison with the overplay after McHenry took a shot. Another one, he buries that ball deep, the Texan. And he comes from very athletic genes. His father played football at Texas Tech. His mom was a standout volleyball player at Texas Tech. Yeah, yeah, you can tell. There's some athletic genes there for sure. So it's the largest lead of the opening frame for the Bruins, up by four, and again, this is where the communication needs to solve yeah. itself. The second time we have seen Andrew Boyle, his first start as a setter, running into Scherfan, going after a second contact. But let, but yeah, Tritons, Tritons just need to get that offense going. Andrew Rowan, who averages 9.43 assists per set. He is at the service line, rearing back. And it's at overzealous. It doesn't matter, Kirsten, what coach you talk to, <laughs> whether it's head coach Brad Rostratter or somebody on UCLA, yeah. seen right there, John Spira. There is so much hype and expectation out of Rowan. They're all saying yeah. that he is the best setter in the country yeah. right now. Yep, yeah. And, uh, you know, when someone <laughs> can set from everywhere on the court um, and get so many of his hitters involved and get them the set they need, specifically, you know, thought we were having a problem, setting David. Nope, no problem at all. He's good. Champlin <laughs> with his fourth kill. He leads all. And by the way, as he gets ready to surf, he had the match clinching kill in the national championship last year in that four setter against Hawaii. Jim Garrison goes back to work and a first ball side out as they feed the 6'9 sophomore from Manhattan Beach. Yeah, nice job by Garrison getting up and available. Garrison has been playing some really strong volleyball. Only one match all season where he's had more than one hitting air in a match. Running oh, it down is Rowan. Set. <laughs> Boyle with the pickup after Ito's off-speed shot. But again, it's that second contact after Boyle, the setter, had to pick up the first. And that is where you need experience. Yeah, and that's usually when uh, Libero steps in to set that ball. Boyle, the other Boyle. So just, you know, new setter setting. Need to work that piece out, be vocal. Andrew and Evan are the Boyle brothers in, as that serve is Ooh, not is in from Champlin. Okay. And that is the eighth service there for the Bruins, one ace. You go back to when they lost against Ohio State in Austin. Listen to this number. The Bruins, oh, no. four aces to 30 service errors. Oh, that just hurts. Yeah, that's like a, that's a whole match. Or set. <laughs> that shot is dug up from Laura, and he plays a part in the block. The joust is there. Robinson on the pickup after the coverage. Oh, Edo nice forces day. the overplay. Athletic defense there for UC San Diego, oh. and Robinson finds the cavity in that two-person block on the outside. The redshirt sophomore from Pacific Palisades who is hitting 4-12 on the young season. Oh, and a nice dig by Garrison. Good heads up play. Smart shot by West. Nice. Ido Sorry. David with a five point lead. Cracks in the serve in his own six. That's Evan Boyle, the libero setting. Nakamura with the dig. And just why that block, they could not keep it in the court. Ido David with the kill and out pours six set points. In system <laughs> and Guinness. <laughs> Stuffs the shot out of the middle from Peter Selcho. Saw it coming in silence. This six foot six middle blocker to take us to the first set finish line. 25 to 18. The Bruins go on a big run to close out the first. And they strike first in this non conference battle. And he made the most of that opportunity. Yeah, and no looking back. Off the overplay from Knight, Jim Garrison sends that to the surface vigorously. 
Nice oh, job by Garrison. Taking care of the net as a good so middle should. Jim Garrison averaging 1.52 kills per set. Has had five kills or more in five matches this year. And there have been two matches where he hasn't had a single hitting error. And an out of system swing from Champlin. Scherfon plays good defense. <laughs> hangs in the air and silences the shot from the San Diegan. Yeah, he, he threw that one down pretty hard. <laughs> Almost like it rattled. Some payback for Scherfon. Yeah. He was blocked in the first set. Then he is the one who was able to orchestrate that as Selcho runs oh. that serve along as David Ito. <laughs> Almost hit him on the way across the floor. Yeah, he had to play a, a game of twister there just to stay out of the way of the flight path of that serve, which happens to be the sixth, make it seventh service air for the Tritons. Boyle to Lim, that one is askew. That's his fourth attacking air. He's sitting in negative numbers on seven tries. He's, he's got a big block in his face. I think he's, uh, you know, trying to avoid it a little bit too much on that one. That one he just turned a little bit too hard in. So you're saying he shouldn't avoid it as much. Should he go high off hands. the top of the hands? Yeah, yeah. high hands. Yeah. Dryden's in that opening set, they hit 136. Eight kills, five hitting errors on 22 swings. A juxtaposition to what the Bruins did in the opening frame on 23 uh. swings, 12 kills and only two hitting errors. And they're gonna have to send a free ball over to Evan Boyle. His brother sets up Lim. And on the back set, Ethan Champlin can't get it down. And Patsy Malta, our R1, is going to yeah. rule a double contact despite the energetic hopes of the Tritons to prolong the point. Oh, great dig by Boyle and Lim just couldn't get a clean contact on it. That ball didn't even hit the net. Ethan uh -oh. Champlin. Overthought that decision with his service motion, and that one was not even close. Yep. Yeah, I think he was going a little bit short. A little too short. He leads his team in kills right now with five on eight swings. Leader in kills for the Tritons is Scherfong. He's got three. Wow. There goes set. Knight. Coverage from McHenry. The Tritons block is establishing itself on the outside. Jim Garrison with a block assist from Andrew Boyle. Nice job, nice placement. On the block on that one, on that high ball. Good penetration. The two wins for the Tritons this year. They were in the season opener against George Mason and then they beat NJIT in five sets. That is Alex Knight. He takes the Tritons off the service line with a riveting put away. And what's his second kill on five attempts? A nice swing by Knight on that one. Knight, second team ABCA All-America selection a season ago. Averaging two kills per set. Laura, the reception out to Scherfon. Delivers the boom with a cross-court attack <laughs> that charms this Triton fan. A great set by Boyle, being able to find Chirfon. Float serve from Garrison, quickly into the middle. How about that set from <laughs> Rowan to Gennis? That is why like, he is so good at what yeah, he does. he's like a magician. Just like, what, what bag of tricks is he gonna pull out? What set is he gonna, oh, no, nope, just a little push, 31. Find it in the middle. Here is Ido David coming into tonight. 11 aces and 14 service errors is gonna add another one to the resume. Not what he was hoping for. His second service error, second of what is the team's 11th.
Andrew Boyle gets a crack at it. Oh. Got it to go! Tritons are only averaging one ace per set. And they've got their largest lead of the match after Boyle getting his first start of the season. Delights with this service positioning. Nice serve, yeah, just a little bit of wrist away. Right out of the reach of Knight. Oh! What? Does it again! Back to back. And a deafening crowd noise here for the Tritons. Their fans are loving what they are seeing. Delivering BBs from King like that right now as they're riding the hot hands of Boyle. Yeah, and uh, Bruins are getting in a little passing trouble. So that's something, let's see if they that timeout helped them. Serve is on its way, and that is David coming in strong out of the back row and getting the job done. Clean first contact from Luca Churchy. Alex Knight. Eight service errors coming into tonight. All eight of those in the last two matches. Scherfer detonates. Going hard at night in zone six. And that is the fifth put away for the native of Los Angeles. Yes, he hits high and he hits very hard. And nice swing by him. Going over the block. Laura, tough serve over to Churchy. And on the back set, David goes high hands. Evan Boyle linking up with Sherfon. Change of pace in a row and takes the first contact. Chaplin picked up. And the overset gives the Bruins an opportunity. Oh. And they can't get it done. Leaping up was Guinness, but could not get on the same page with Rowan. Yeah, and some nice defensive plays by the Triton. And good. And good, yeah, that one, oh, that's a very rare miscue by Rowan and Dennis. Church see the reception off of Laura's serve. Champlin trying to go high hands, not getting any fingertips as our R1, Patsy Malta in her second attacking air for Ethan Champlin. He's had at least four attacking airs in the last five matches, each of the last five matches coming into tonight. Looks like we have a substitution, uh, Cooper Robinson Cooper Robinson coming is coming. And I think earlier on in the first set, I might have said that Alex Knight was Cooper Robinson, but now <laughs> Cooper Robinson is in. So we are... We could be brothers. <laughs> Guess, oh. can't get it down, courtesy of Boyle, shoveled over by Laura. Where does Rowan go? To Guinness, change of pace. Oh, Deeps it down. Sharp and short angle and just away from the diving attempt of Evan Boyle, the sophomore. And such a smart play by Guinness. Sees that hole, just paint brushes it there. Well, let's talk about as they wipe the, the perspiration off this court for Kirsten Olsen, I'm Brian Fenley. We were talking to John Spraw, head mm -hmm. coach for the Bruins, about the team morale coming off that loss and he said look our guys are as clean as we need to be as far as how they're playing but they haven't he, he noted this they haven't had a lot of training time the first two weeks of the season they were on the road playing multiple opponents and so they haven't been in the gym able to refine their game and he feels like that's a reason why they're not playing at their best right now and certainly not at their best when it comes to serving <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I agreed, and, 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 you know, like we've said before, definitely trying to find their identity. Um, you know, when you have a lot of different players on the court at any time, you know, team chemistry has to be a thing. Um, but they have so many good players. McHenry off the set from Rowan. Misses the mark. And what does Rowan need to do to get a little bit more dialed in here? We're seeing a lot of off-speed stuff um, from the Bruin You know attackers. what, I, I think that that was uh, McHenry, it, you know, trying a shot that was open before and worked. Um, but, you know, he's a good setter. I know he knows how to set his hitters. I'm just dialing in on that. Robinson with a pickup, combination play, and it's Chaplin 
getting high up in the air as McHenry jumped as the decoy and killed number six for Champlin. That's two more than the second highest on the team. Nice swing by Chaplin, finding that hard angle. And Giroux in the six foot six sophomore, the setter. High up in the air for Boyle to Sherfon. Robinson gets underneath that. High ball to the outside. Off the triple block is Champlin. Not a great swing. Joust. Pick up by Boyle. Left hand for <laughs> Kim, and we play on. What a crescendo we are seeing that is still <laughs> going on. Oh. Edo David. Not to be deterred as he stays composed and poised and makes sure the point goes the Bruins' way. That was some ugly volleyball. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, just make that go away. Yuck. So the ball control on both sides, why do you think it is where it is right now? Because it's contagious. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that kind of serving is contagious to quick points. <laughs> Champlin obliterates that free ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Champlin said, you know what? Someone needs to hit a ball. I'm going to do it. With who is on the floor, it is, it's going to be key. In talking to Head coach John Spra of UCLA as Robinson's serve goes long. He said there was nothing last night wrong, and you see yeah. him there with the team's energy. Yeah. He felt like they played a pretty strong match. Yeah. It was just that they saw a level from the Gauchos of UCSB no, yeah. that few thought that they could attain. Yeah, and looking at the stats, like UCLA actually hit better, had more blocks. I think that UCSB had a couple more digs. It could have gone either way, so I think it was one player, Bianchi, I think it was, just having a really good night that couldn't do anything more. Every single one of those five sets last night between the Gauchos and the Bruins was decided by two points. Sherfon follows things up with a miss from the service line. It was 13 all Gauchos and oh, Bruins wow. in that, in that yeah, fifth that's, set. Yeah, anything can happen there, yeah. And then two straight points for the Gauchos. Wow. It really was a match where who could stitch together two straight points mm -hmm. is going to get you the win in a frame. And, Hopefully you can ride that to the finish line. Matt Lim, he has been a bright spot for this team. I love that, that sharp, sharp angle. Nice, fast set. Able to find the floor. Matt Lim averaging 2.5 kills per set. Here he is with the offering. The team's ninth service error, and that is number three for the sophomore from Torrey Pines High School. Speaking of Torrey Pines High School, there are a lot of club volleyball players, Wave and Coast, mm -hmm. in the house tonight. That they are supporting this top flight volleyball match and taking flight with Sherfon. He's got his sixth kill on 11 swings. He is dialed in. Over 400 is his setting percentage. Yeah, and that's the D ball right there. He hits high and hard, finds the floor. 17 serving 12. Jim Garrison goes to Churchy. And Guy Guinness makes good on a kill out of the middle. And there's wave volleyball. Yeah. One of the predominant, most powerful clubs in San Diego, Absolutely. producing so many future stars of tomorrow in the sport. Absolutely. David goes at limb. Laura hits the set from Boyle. Gets a big block touch. And there is Robinson loading up. Evan Boyle with a pickup. Sherfon trying to go right up against that line and misses the mark just by the smallest of margins with that high speed attack with that live arm. Yeah, I wanted to turn that one. I mean, he did see, you know, some space on the line, but just missed that one. Turned it too, a little bit too sharp. 
Nito David, another good one, and that's going to be a free chance for the Bruins. Where do they go? Back row, Champlin, oh. and then Boyle gets a touch. And just oh. out of the way of a Triton second contact, somebody get an odometer out there, a speedometer, whatever you need to do to clock the speed on Champlin, who's yeah, playing that, with and fury. And that was a back row attack, too. Great swing, and, and, and Boyle was there, but got nailed to the floor digging that ball. Boyle with a clean first touch this time. Ah. Peter Sacho makes the most of it. Good, clean side out for the Tritons. And it all started, Kirsten, with that nice pass. Yeah, you're right. Uh, super impressed with Boyle's passing and his defense. Um, hadn't honestly seen him play since last year, and I think he's totally stepped it up. Tritons have led by as many as five. Four different instances in this second set. David plays it. And now Chaplin to Robinson. Had it sent backwards off the rebound. Champlin uh, off a trampoline. And that back row attack is lethal. Yes, it is. It's And especially it's a fast one, too. And it's another hitter you have to worry about, not just the front row, but then the back row. And if you get up, don't have three blockers up on him, you know he's going to put it away. Cooper Robinson not able to put away that serve. We did have a season best last year, three aces, and one of the sweeps that the Bruins had against the Tritons had three aces. Sebastian Laura, averaging 1.74 kills per set serves. Goes at Robinson. Ito David gets it done. And how would you size up the way he is playing? Very methodical, doesn't make a whole lot of mistakes. Yeah, he is a, you know, he is a dialed in player. Lots of international experience, has played at a very high level. Um, another player you can set all the way around. He is always going to be a threat. Matt Lim is a threat. When he gets a set like that on the left side, pulverizes that ball for his fourth kill. And that's going to get him out of negative numbers. Ah, good for him. Yep. Where there's a will, there's a way. No Triton hitting in the negative. After that latest put away from the sophomore, Peter Selcho unsuccessful with that serve. Tritons are hitting a lot better in the second set compared to the first. They're hitting 313 in the okay, second to better. 136 in the yeah, first. What do you attribute that to? Um, I think just being hitting smart. Um, also, you know, some I think that we're seeing Boyle get a little more dialed in um, setting-wise and making good selections, good matchups, um, getting the sets to the hitters that they like. Oh, what a great dig. Boyle digs Champlin, oh. but can't do it a second no. time. Yeah, you got close that block. As on he thunders it home for his 10th kill. First in double figures, and he did it on his second swing in that rally. Yeah, he's not afraid of a block. Good work, though, at the beginning of oh, that point yeah. for, by that man right there. Making it look easy. Evan Boyle was on the Big West All-Freshman team a season ago. Jim Garrison hit it fat off of the setup from Boyle. Didn't seem as if he hit that cleanly. No, that Why was, was that? Um, I don't think he was in the right position. I, I would have to rewatch that, but I just think he, you know, tried to turn it, turned it a little bit too much, but probably wasn't as open as he should have been in hitting that quick. So, body positioning. In good position are the Bruins here. Multiple times, as mentioned in this second set, they have been down. Um, who to set? Great setter. But dialing in that pass and um, serve, I think you're right. That is That are two things that, those, that they can work on a little bit better. Wow, what a great block by Merrick. McHenry doesn't need to work on his blocking. He's really good. <laughs> the senior shuts down Sherfon McHenry. First team AVCA All-America a season ago. Led the nation in attack percentage wow. last year at over 500. Boiled a boil to Garrison. Popped up by David. Real shot from Champlin. David tools the block. 
Yeah, and that is that. five consecutive points for the visitors. What has changed here from a five-point lead to now a Bruin two-point edge? I think it's just they're cleaning up their passing a little bit, and they're just setting their hitters. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. Just keep getting them involved. Um, but definitely cleaned up uh, their pass a little bit. Need a good first pass here if you are the Tritons. To the joust, Garrison <laughs> knocks it over <laughs> unintentionally. And Chaplin got a piece of the net there, but he hammered it to the surface. Brad Rostrader wants to know oh, if that hit the maybe that hit the antenna. I don't know. Patsy Malta, by the way, is our first referee. I think that was outside the antenna. I don't know. Hmm. I challenge that. I mean, it happened really fast, and he's got a fast arm swing, but. Hmm. Brad Rostrader time. Brad to Kevin seems rattled. Cole. Well, He's rattled. this is going to be the second challenge if he ends up going with it. They did win their first challenge in the first set. Um. Is that enough to see the antenna? I don't know, but now he doesn't want to challenge it. Now okay. he's not going to challenge. Right. I think Kevin Cole, our down official, talked him out of it. So that is from 20 to 17 leading. The Tritons are down 23 to 20. Uh, Garrison puts a halt to that 6-0 scoring run, courtesy of his third kill. And it took him a sixth attempt to get there. Good job by Garrison being available. So if you are the Tritons here, Kirsten, how do you minimize your mistakes and try to put the pressure back on the Bruins? Um, play good defense. Um, close that block. Um, we've got a new outside in on the Triton side. Josh Schellinger, Schellinger. is in. Boyle and Garrison yes. on the denial. Closing that block. Nice job by Garrison. And Boyle for setting it. Set and close. Oh, that was all Garrison on that one. Jim Garrison. Now that kill, mm -hmm. ooh, that one stings if you're a Triton fan. Yeah, it does. Sure fine, now sets up two set points for the Bruins after the service error, the team's 11th service error. They have as many digs as service errors, both at 11. Yeah, that's, that's how it goes, I guess, right? First set went to the Bruins 25 to 18. They're trying to go up two sets to none. Champlin right at Laura. Evan Boyle, the second contact. Nakamura picks up Ooh. Challenger's shot. Ah. And nobody wants to get it. When you needed to be proactive, wow. the Bruins were passive. Yeah, I, I think that that's a good call there. It's nice dig by Nakamura. Great rundown by Chaplin on that one. And who's going to take that one? Schellinger gets in a good serve. Rowan looking Dougie's way. And Schellinger with the pickup. Laura. And now Chaplin will work it back over to the Israeli David. On two. <laughs> the crowd is in pure ecstasy, staving off two set points. After a lefty finish from Boyle, who's getting his first start of the season, and he's doing it against the number two team in the country. And, and, and you know, forget about setting. Just dump it. I mean. Wow. Schellinger with a rocket of a serve. Really? Here's Robinson. <sighs> what a pickup by Evan Boyle. Two-handed over to Chaplin. In for McHenry. Block touch. McHenry silences oh. the crowd. Opening up a third set point. Jeez. With that throttled finish from the senior from Texas. 
I think everyone's standing in here right now. They're so excited. Almost a packed capacity, <laughs> full capacity here at Lion Tree Arena. Thousands of fans here are in La Jolla. Laura got it done. Yes. It wasn't conventional, but it surely was nope. effective. Sometimes being weird works, and just finding a way in, you know, going through the block, going low seam, works out. Sam Warren is going to come in for serving responsibilities. What a time to see your first action, Kirsten, yeah, well, at 25 apiece in the second. And Schellinger just came in and contributed right away. So these guys are ready to go. Warren, a freebie. Tritons looking for their first set win against the Bruins. In quite some time, they were swept in both matchups last year on the doorstep. But now, advantage for the number two team in the country, Ido Davi, trying to serve his team to a two sets to none lead at Boyle. His brother, Surfan, got his shot rejected. Robinson rising to the occasion. And the Bruins need extra points to solve this second set. Cooper Robinson off the bench. Right there, providing the havoc. Chance Schellinger in, which I think is a good call. He came in and was able to contribute right away. Um, you know, I think the middles are playing well. I think the defense is amazing right now. So it's just getting enough firepower to be able to transition those defensive plays. There were multiple times at different stages of the second set where the Tritons had a five-point lead. But then late in the second, they gave up six points in a row. And on a fourth set point, the Bruins were able to get it done. This is Scherfan bringing the heat from the service line. Champlin on a 20th swing at number 20. Absolutely yeah. obliterates that yeah. ball. 12 kills and only make it two hitting errors. Yeah, and he was on the right side on that one, too. He can hit from anywhere on the court. And it happens so fast you don't even realize it's him. Champlin. That's it go. Around it, Laura. Scherfan took a little bit off of it this time, yeah. Kirsten. And it's Champlin having to set up Robinson. Look at that. He can do it all, setting and putting down kills. Champlin is the, the star of this match so yeah, far. He is. He is the number one contributor on the Bruin side. Other than Rowan, of course, who's dishing out the sets. Andrew Boyle will look to the cross court on the set. Nice and thumping it to the surface vigorously is Schellinger on what is a 15th helper from the senior Andrew Boyle, his first start as a setter this season. Yeah, nice job. And a little bit of room on that line by Schellinger. Off target with that serve. Schellinger did not play in the first set. Now, he started last Friday in that match against Grand Canyon, but that was because Matt Lim was out injured. Mm -hmm. Lim back in the starting lineup, and he is second on the team in kills with four. Here is number four, Sebastian Lohr, who defies gravity and puts one down to tie things up at three. Yeah, nice job by Laura. Nice, fast, quick set. Sees a big hole in that block and takes advantage of it. Laura, one of three Tritons. Double digits in the form of swings. Roll shot, oh, and that just smart. eludes the 6'9", Jim Garrison, Robinson. The dexterity and the court vision to do something a little bit differently, and that worked well. Yeah, smart hitter. Ido Dafid serving, hitting 375 in this match, 7 of 16. Two service errors. First <laughs> ace for him, and it comes in the third set. Yep. And it's the second ace for the Bruins. You know you want, Kirsten, that 1-1 one, one ratio, aces and service mm -hmm. errors, as you see what Ito did right there against Schellinger in serve receive. Mm -hmm. 
two aces, 15 service errors for UCLA. Mm. That, that's disgusting to me, but I guess that's just how it goes. But if you're thinking it in the other capacity, if the side out percentage is 75% with a serve, and then if they float, it's even higher. So you have to go for it. So it's like you have to take the air. I'd like to see a spreadsheet on that. <laughs> serve coming over from Andrew Boyle off the hands of David on the first contact. Then Boyle to his brother who sets up Sherfon. Yes. Tools it this time off of the yes, Guinness Steve. Robinson block. I like that hit. High hands. He can hit high. Go high hands. Andrew Boyle, sir. And Sherfon just one of three Tritons who has played in every set this season. Second highest hitting percentage out of the outsides on the Tritons for those who are regularly in the rotation and another service here. And, and how deflating can those be if you're a team trying to manifest a run? Service errors? Um, you know, I, you know I, I guess it's just very different. Um, you, Having to go for it, I think it, you know, it, it kind of takes the wind, wind out of your sails after you earn the ball back, you know, to serve. But, um, you know, I do believe that there are some servers that go for it every time that have that serve, and then there's a couple of servers that just, based on the toss, you know, get it in. Overpowering the two-person block. They got two blockers in front of Champlin's shot but just brute force wins out. He is putting on a show tonight in yeah. San Diego, and he is from San Diego. Yeah. There might be more Triton fans in the building, but there are a lot of supporters of Champlin here in La Jolla. David oh. clings one long, and he took Rare a stare down yeah. at Patsy Malta, our first referee, to see if maybe she would have Spot into potentially there being a touch, none yeah, seen. I didn't see any touches. I don't think Patsy did either. <laughs> Definitely Patsy didn't. Do it. Sevens on the board. There were three ties between these two in the second set. Combination play. Laura, oh, what a rundown! The hustle. Schellinger wow. gets it over right to Churchy. In system. <laughs> <laughs> Back row pick, Robinson hammers it to the surface as McHenry was jumping as the phantom attacker. Yes, that's the, that is the true pick there. Middle disguises and Robinson thumps away. Bruins retake the lead. Eight for them, seven for the Tritons. They have not beaten UCLA since 2020. It was on this court in January of that year. Oh. Brad Rostrader was not the head coach nope. at that point. He was at Vanguard where he was the head coach. <laughs> By the way, about 2,500 people are here at Lion Tree Arena and there for the most part pro Triton fans and they're not going to be happy with what McHenry did right there. Hold the trigger, hit that quick. You think about both of these coaches, they both are working with the national team. As, as Champlin misfires there, you've got on the Bruins side, John Spra, head coach of the men's national team. And then Brad Rostrader, as you see how many people have showed up to support this matchup between the number two ranked team and the number 20 ranked team in the country. But Brad Rostrader works on the women's side oh. on the national team. Oh, I actually didn't know that. Robinson won an athletic pickup by Evan Boyle. That is Laura. And Schellinger will put it on a platter oh. for Laura, who runs right into a block and deletes that attempt in the sense of denying him the thrill of a kill. But some really nice digs by Boyle. Evan Boyle is playing out of his mind. He really is. He's got four digs and comes in with at least six digs in the last four matches in each of the last four. 
Ito takes his 20th swing, and it's going to be coming back the other way. Laura <laughs> wins the 50-50 ball. He's four inches shorter than Ito David, but he makes up for it with that vertical leap. Yeah, he just waited and pushed last. Good timing by Laura. First year as a Triton is Laura coming over from Orange Coast College at the community college level. Gennis splits the block on the up-tempo set from Rowan, who has 29 assists now. Last night in that five-set loss to UCSB, he had 56 dimes. That's a season high. And Rowan the magician just pulling out his bag of tricks of, you know, what is he going to set next? His career high is 60 wow. assists, and that was back in 2023 against Hawaii. Andrew Boyle sets up Anthony Scherfon, who flies in there and gives the Bruins an opportunity to return. Robinson clubs that one to the floor. Air-free volleyball for him on 10 swings. Four put-downs as he drives down another one. Yeah, Robinson steps in, not playing in the first set and just contributes right away. Key contributor is our server, Ito Dafid. Eight kills, 20 swings, hitting 300. Tough serve. Joust. Boyle pushes it over to the Tritons, or to the Bruins, excuse me. Robinson, roll shot. Sure fun, the dive. Yeah. <laughs> Quick. Oh, no, and lift. they're going to take away the Triton point from Selcho yeah. off a lift call, says yeah, our R1, it, he Patsy kinda, Malta. He kind of power tipped it. So you think it was a fair call? Uh, you know, I, I feel like anything goes now, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it was kind of a, a, a power tip. So it runs the quick, and no, I think that was good. I don't and that isn't something you can challenge. You cannot, yeah. of all the things that yeah, you can challenge. No, nothing that's a judgment call, yeah. You cannot challenge that ruling. 13 serving 10. Andrew Boyle locking on with Laura. Somebody netted. On the Bruins Net, side. That's so moving. They catch a break. Oh, that was the makeup call right there, <laughs> Private Pat. Pat. Thanks, Patsy. There's Kevin Cole, our down official, making that ruling. Bruins hitting 500 in the third set alone. Big serve from Boyle. Oh, the smart. deception deeks out the Tritons and a kill for Rowan, his 17th on the season. He has had at least one kill, Kirsten, in yeah. every match this year, so you can't forget about what he can do offensively. Yes, and. Uh, I heard that he likes to hit if he can, but. Robinson lost control of the team's 20th service error. But to say they've got 20 service errors to just two aces <laughs> and to say that they're up two sets to none, yeah. that to me would probably leave most people speechless. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. Oh, I think he hit, oh, uh, a touch on that. Oh. oh, there was a touch because the ball was not in. No. Off Champlin. And challenge that one. Brad Rostrader is going right to the challenge. He's one for one in winning challenges. He's got two because of that. My initial viewpoint, I'd go knows what he is going to be calling here. Audi. No Evidence clearly shows that. So what does a 15-12 score change to 14-13 do for the Tritons? Uh, gives them a prayer. Um, you know, definitely gives them back in the game. Uh, but now they have an opportunity. They need to take advantage of it. You know, now is full metal, full, you know, can't make any errors here. Got to go for it. I don't want to say play perfect, but you got to take advantage of this opportunity. Laura serving after the challenge won by Brad Rostrader. He is two for two in winning challenges. Champlin holds the finish. And John Sparaw flashes the green card to signal the challenge. Okay, let's see who get this one. 
just challenge everything. <laughs> <laughs> Out by as many as five in the second set, and then went on a late 6-0 run, and on a fourth set point, converted on it 27 to 25 was the second set tally in favor of the Bruins. And Guinness surrenders a point by way of the service there. That's number 21 on the Bruins here. <laughs> Disgusting stuff. That is one fewer than the 22 that they had last night in five okay. sets. Ooh, okay, and a well. thriller that they lost yeah. at home against UCSB. Champlin, a no-doubter of a kill, got a set to rip into. And that looked way too easy. Passing and ball control yeah, were in a really good spot. Flawless. And Rowan makes every, I mean, he can set anything. I'm, I now see what it's all about. He just, even like running off the court behind him, bump set. More control from the service line here for the Bruins. And that's going to be a timeout for Brad Rostrader. The, the placement of the timeout right now, after cumulatively, their 410 hitting percentage, which is above their season average which is third of the nation at 378, just below Pepperdine in Charleston. Here's Rowan with 30 assists, serving at Laura in zone six. Scherfond oh. blocked again, <laughs> solo style. <laughs> Champlin can do it all. Oh gosh, that's a solo right there. Yep, yep. Wow, what amazing timing by Chaplin. The swing block and oh my goodness. Only 6-3, but he makes up for it with his yep. leaping ability. It is some of the best in men's volleyball. Laura with a set behind his head to Schellinger. Robinson dives to come up with a scoop. Chaplin dekes it past two blockers yeah. that were right there converging, and Scherfan and Robinson. It's what he can do, yep. adjusting his body just, mid flight, that yeah. is a sight to see. And Chaplin just decides, you know what? I'm just going to paintbrush this ball right through the block. Jeez. Such a smart player. Great hitter. It's a well right now. You mentioned David had an ace. The only other aces, too, are off of Rowan, our server for the Bruins. Jim Garrison runs into a wall. The 6'7", McHenry denies the 6'9", sophomore. Yeah, McHenry isn't having any of that. Interesting recruiting story for McHenry. Sprung onto the scene a little bit late when you, when you talk about the recruiting. Yeah as Rowan picks up his <laughs> third ace. He's got three of his team's four aces tonight. Oh, but in, in, in Coach John Spira's words for McHenry, they didn't really know about him mm. until he was a junior in high school. Oh, and wow. then they saw what he can do from a jumping standpoint, oh, and yeah. they're like, all right, he might be raw, but we can really yeah. refine him. And he is really enjoying and making the most of his brewing opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. You can tell that he is a high flyer, has a quick arm, and I mean, in the first couple of sets of the game, he was, you know, closing the, uh, every block. And you saw him right there. By the way, he credits his mom, who played volleyball at Texas Tech, for why he has fallen in love with the sport. And yep. family is going to love what he is doing here late in the second, make it the third set. McHenry blocking, coming up with kills. Not surprising, considering last year he was a first-team All-American AVCA. Not, not surprised at all. Very efficient, effective middle blocker. Not so effective was that serve from Champlin. So what can the Tritons do? There's a steady and steep deficit that they're confronted with. You know, they got on a little bit of a serving run at one point. I, you know, I think that the Bruins have made some adjustments since then. But serve tough. Block big. There was a big block there, but Champlin no, with he brute just away. force yeah. just erodes that block with that incomparable firepower that you, he possesses. You know, I almost picked him as a player to watch, 
but I wasn't sure because Spira is trying so many different lineups if he would even be playing. So I thought it would be safe to obviously pick a very talented Rowan who is, you know, literally involved in every play. But Chaplin definitely yeah, having a standout night. Guinness makes it yeah, he's eight set points slash match points after that latest kill for what him. What a creative middle hitter. I don't think I've seen him hit the ball the, the same way for any of the sets that he's gotten. Garrison with the match on the line. Sebastian <laughs> Laura navigates a kill. Unconventional, out of sorts. Uh, yep, and uh, in an inside set, just f found a way. Think about what the Tritons did in the second set. They warded off three set points. Yeah, can they do it again? So they've got oh, a lot of work no. to be done, and that is going to be it. A service error for Sam Warren. We'll put the finishing touches on a Bruin sweep. They rebound nicely after their loss last night in five sets to another Big West team with a rather...